Oh yeah. Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Envy Perry, and today I'm gonna to be rating every Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. Literally all of them from FNAF 1 all the way to Security Breach. Based on how scary they are, I'm gonna be rating them from the 1 to 10 system on which one I think is the scariest, but they're very fast jump scares. I'm gonna put this at like 0.75. I'll put it at 0.75 speed just so we can really take it in each time I rate them. Uh, this video is made by Dark Taurus. Shout out to their channel. Link is in the description. Let's get right into it. First one, Five Nights at Freddy's Nostalgia. I've been into this series ever since I was like 12 years old almost, so there we go. Start off with the first Freddy Fazbear, or I don't know, I, who's gonna be first? I have no idea. Okay, that was a Chica jump scare. And honestly, Chica, let's see. I feel like Chica's pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Especially because, you know, the first game, everything's so mysterious. But going off the Chica jump scare, she gets in your face, she's twisting her neck, she's yelling like a crackhead. I'm gonna put this one at solid 8 out of 10 on the scary scale, on the scary level. Okay, now we got Bonnie. I feel like Bonnie was just like, I mean, normally I would rate Bonnie literally like maybe a three or four or five out of 10. It's not that scary to me. But keeping in mind, Bonnie's the first character that most people who play Final Fantasy got jump scared by. That was like your first jump scare experience. It was probably pretty creepy. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 out of respect for it being probably the first jump scare you encounter. Foxy seems like the scariest of the animatronics in FNAF 1 in a lot of ways, but the truth is his jump scare is trash. Like, what is he doing? He's just popping in to say hi. He's not even jump scaring us. He's not a jump scare. This is a accidentally walk in on you while you're naked there. Scare, whatever. But <laughs> main thing is, the scariest part of Foxy's jump scare is when he's rushing and you can hear him running down the halls. That's a little bit scary, but his actual, like, jump, I'm gonna, if you can even call it that, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10. I'm gonna do him dirty and give him a 2 out of 10. That was Freddy, and Freddy's, the thing that makes Freddy's even creepier is you barely ever see him. It's not like you get jump scared by Freddy a lot. And his eyes, like, they're like dark and they're glowing or something. You can barely see them. That's pretty terrifying. And also, when I played Fight as a Freddy's one on the iPad, like, years ago, I got jump scared by Freddy one time so bad that it felt like I was having a heart attack. I actually, like, holding my heart, my chest throughout the day. So it was scary enough to make me freak out like that. I'm gonna give it nine. There's no way Bonnie's scarier than that. Nine out of ten. <laughs> That was the other Freddy jump scare, the one that happens when he actually plays the music box. I'm gonna include the fact that he plays the music box and then kills you because that's scarier to me. None of the other jump scares do that. That is a lot of suspense and when it gets you, it gets you. I'm gonna give that one a 10 out of 10 out of respect for Freddy. Um, I just said 10 out of 10 for Freddy, but I'm gonna break the rules right now and actually put Golden Freddy at 11 out of 10. Like he's so terrifying that he breaks the rating system. I don't know what it is. The fact that it's just like a PNG image of Golden Freddy appears in your face. It feels like demonic kind of. It feels like you're messing with some forces we don't understand. That was Finest Freddy's 1. Let's get into Finest Freddy's 2. <laughs> Uh, I always found this one not that scary. The way he moves his mouth up and down in Final Fantasy Freddy's 2, it looks like he's talking, like he's saying a meme or something. Hey man, what's up? Like, as he's killing you, that's stupid. 3 out of 10. Chica, you know, she doesn't really do much. She just kind of gets in your face and looks at you. But her jaw is pretty terrifying. It seems like her jaw is, like, dislocated, so... We'll give this one a 6 out of 10. I always found it a little bit cringy how he kind of like reaches in like to grab you because like that's a scary concept but somehow I feel like it doesn't translate too well in the jump scare. Like it feels like it's kind of funny, like kind of goofy. I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, the Foxy to jump scare in Final Freddy's 2, I'm gonna give him a lot better rating than Foxy in FNAF 1. Foxy in FNAF 1, not scary at all. This one on the other hand, FNAF 2 Foxy, he straight up launches at you. He launches at you so bad, it's like he's literally jumping out of the screen to kill you. I think that's pretty creepy and it gets you a lot because it's one of the most common jump scares in the game. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10. It's a solid, scary jump scare. Okay, so the Toy Freddy is stupid. He looks like he's just laughing in your face, like he made a really dumb joke and now he's like ah, laughing in your face. That's not scary. I give it a 2 out of 10. The Bonnie one on the other hand, <clears throat> he's got those eyes that are just staring into your soul and he launches towards you the same way Foxy does. Like he freaking launches at you out of the screen. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, this is uh, Toy Chica, and Toy Chica, like, she looks one, she has her beak normally, but when she jump scares you, she don't got a beak, and I find that pretty creepy, like, it's just unexpected, especially if it's your first time seeing Toy Chica, and then she does this, it's like, that is not even the same animatronic, it's weird, it's kind of disturbing, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> Mangle, it's an interesting one because it just comes from the top. A lot, There's a lot of machine parts that you can see, so it feels like it's about to rip your face open. I think that's pretty scary. I'll, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> 
Okay, part of me is like, that was one of the scariest jump scares ever. But another part of me is like, that's goofy as hell. His head is just floating towards you. Like next bots on Roblox or something, I don't know. It's still pretty creepy though. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. <laughs> Okay, the music box, just because of all the anxiety that comes with having to constantly wind up the music box, and also that he launches at you and has this creepy face, I think all together it's earned, I'm gonna give it an 8.5. I think it earns an 8.5 in my opinion. Okay, Final Fantasy 3, let's get right into this, let's go. So this is what's so weird is all the phantom jump scares like they're scary except for the fact that they don't actually kill you they just freak you out so it starts to get to the point where it's really not that scary at all i'm gonna watch all of them because i feel like they're all basically the same kind of jump scare and rate them all as a collective but see like they appear okay 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 Okay, I take it back. I was gonna rate them all and just say they're like probably like a six out of ten, but this is kind of creepy. I was just standing there and this thing, what is, what's going on back here? This earns more of like an eight out of ten, maybe a nine. Yeah, because it's just unexpected. It's unexpected. Like, you know he's gonna launch at you, but you're not sure when. So I'm gonna give that one a nine. That's just a six. What is this from? When did Ballora jump skip? Bonus? I don't remember this. That's terrifying. I'm gonna give that one an, an eight. Oh, this is the puppet. It's annoying is what it is, because he's getting in your way, but it's not really scary. It's just kind of weird how he's like pressing his forehead against us. I'm gonna give it like a five out of 10. Okay, okay, can we, can we talk about Springtrap? Can we talk about this? Ever since I first played FNAF 3, I always was just confused by how trash Springtrap's jump scare is. Like, what is he doing? He's like moving in on you like he's trying to riz you up like, Hey, mamacita. Like, what's up, baby girl? That's what he looks like he's trying to do. Like, what? This is not a jump scare. He's just casually approaching you. Like, that's not scary at all. I mean, he's scary, but the jump scare is not scary. So I'm rating this jump scare truly a 1 out of 10. Okay, FNAF 4. Let's go. I already know the nightmares are in here, so it's gonna be even crazier. Um, it's pretty terrifying. He literally has like all these teeth and he just grabs you and picks you up like he's gonna eat you. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I always found it scary because the jump scares in FNAF 4, it's scary because it's not like in the office or something. It's in your own bedroom. Like, it feels like they're gonna come to life and go through my door and kill me. That's terrifying. I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. There's just no way I can take the cupcake serious. It's not gonna happen. I'll take the animatronics, but like the cupcake, I don't care how demonic it looks. It's too funny to me to rate like it's scary. I'm gonna give it a one out of 10. Okay, the Chica one, I, I feel like Chica's pretty terrifying. Nightmare Chica's pretty terrifying. Those teeth look like they're, they rotate or something. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5. I always found the Foxy one to be very not scary. Nightmare Foxy, when you peek and he's there. Like, it's not that scary. It's a six. I'll be nice and say six. Okay, the Freddy, Nightmare Freddy, I'll give it a six as well. I'll give it a six. It's not like they're not scary, but I, I maybe I'm just desensitized to seeing these graphic animatronics. Maybe that's what it is. That one I feel is scarier. Is this Fredbear? I can't remember the name, but he is scarier than Nightmare Freddy for sure. Cause he's like, what is he? He's like huge, why is he fat? I'm gonna give, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a nine. This is, is this Nightmare? I can't remember, but what I do know for sure, this gets easily, and it goes in that 11 out of 10 territory. This is like Golden Freddy territory. This is like Kirk's, what is this? That, that was terrifying. Okay, Plush Trap. I guess Plush Trap's kind of creepy. It's not scary, it's annoying and creepy. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. The Halloween version's not that scary. It just seems like a goofy in-game event. I'm gonna give it three out of 10. A pumpkin, are you kidding me? One out of 10. All right, all right. This one, I will give actually a six. Halloween Chica is scarier to me than the Halloween Bonnie. This is Goofy. That is not scary at all. He's just like peeking out of the closet. Yeah, not scary at all. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. Yeah, all together. I know it's all con combined. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. Okay, see this, this here? That. That goes, that goes in the 11 out of 10 section again. It's like these weirdly like off-putting psychological creepy ones that get me the most. I'm personally rating this one as the 11 out of 10 territory. Okay, Nightmare Balloon Boy is pretty creepy, I'm not gonna lie, 7.5 out of 10. Okay, FNAF, sister location. We are blasting through these. I am hyped to see the sister location ones, let's go. Yeah, that's weird as hell. I'd be like, please stop, but I don't know if it's like terrifying. It's just 
It's just kind of an annoyance. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Okay, that's terrifying. She was already scary with her face on, but when Ballora like does this, yeah, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I got double scared for this one because I was scared when he just popped out, but I, I got extra scared when his face popped off. So, uh, 8.5. 8 that Somehow this one didn't really scare me. It was actually kind of cool. Like if I was gonna be killed like this for half a second, I would've been like, yo, that's kind of badass. And then I proceed to die, but let me give this one a four out of 10. That was ass, one out of 10. Okay, this is creepy as hell. <laughs> this one's creepy. That's the, the mini arena. I give that easily. I give this one like a nine. Nah, I give it give it a nine point five. I don't know. I can't take it seriously. It looks like like the dancing frog. I'm gonna give it two out of ten. Yeah, this is like a two or three out of ten. Okay, the clown and art is kind of creepy. That's kind of creepy, but it's it's partly because of the clown aspect of it. So I'm gonna say seven out of ten. Oh, the way the way his face is bobbing around that that bumps it up. That just bumped up. That just bumped up to an eight or nine out of ten for me. Well, that was terrifying. I don't remember these. That that was a nine. That last Ballora one, I'm gonna give like a six. Okay, this is Toy Bonnie. No, it's not Toy Bonnie. This is uh Funtime Bonnie. The Bonnie from Funtime Freddy. I can't remember. I give that one a two out of ten. Okay. Um. This is a 3 out of 10. It's like she just pop in and say hi. He or she. I always forget the genders of the FNAFs. And then there's the kid inside of the FNAF. So it's so confusing. Um, that was 5. LOL BIT! LOL! That's kind of hurting my ears, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the LOL BIT one, cool. Um, but it's not scary. It's like a 1 out of 10. That last one, that pink bonnet, or bon I forgot her name. She, I give her like a one out of ten. It's just annoying. Okay, see, that was creepy as hell. The first time I saw this, I wasn't as shocked. This shocked me a little more. I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give this one a 8.5. Okay, Final Fantasy VI. This is like the only FNAF game I truly never even touched. Like, I don't think I ever played this, but get right into it. This is FNAF Pizza Simulator. That was pretty creepy. I'll give that. Oh, the way it turns red and fades? Okay, that's creepy. I'm gonna give that 8 out of 10. Okay, that wasn't as creepy to me for some reason, even though it's pretty much the same jump scare. I give it like a 6. I kind of take him seriously. His head. What is this, Beavis and Butthead? Look at this, watch. Not that one, not that one. Okay, watch, look at this. This is like Beavis and Butthead over here. Negative 1 out of 10, it's not even funny. No way I'm taking that seriously. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. One out of ten. Two. Okay, he kind of just barges in there. I think it's his energy that he just forces himself in your face. I give that 6.5 out of 10. And, and this is more like a 5 out of 10. It just, it looks like he was green screened onto the spot. Okay, that's scary. That's scary. That's scary. I'll give it an 8.5 as well. Just because, like, sh this is creepy. She's gonna slice me to death. Uh, this is more like a 6 out of 10. Okay, that was cool. But now it's Ultimate Custom Night. This is, like, a lot of jump scares. So we're gonna just blast through them. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I'm not gonna elaborate too much. I'm literally just gonna, like, boom, boom, boom. Rate, rate, rate. Okay, 6 out of 10. One out of ten. What is he doing? He's like holding around. He looks like he's having a seizure. Two out of ten. He looks like he pooped himself. One out of ten. Not scary. Uh, that was a little bit scary. Five out of ten. He looks like he's dancing. He's shuffling on us. Three out of ten. Uh, one out of ten more. Okay, 9 out of 10, just the way the arms are wiggling around. There's no escape from this. 4 out of 10 scary, but that was actually a really cool jump scare. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, it's just creepy. 3 out of 10. 1 out of 10, it looks like he, a toy that got activated. But someone pressed the button on the toy, now it's like making noise. Okay, okay, I... Okay, th this is a little bit creepy. Yeah, see, all this weird stuff, it's like you're tripping or something. I'm, I'm gonna give this 8 out of 10. 
Okay, no, 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 no. These, these, these images are being burned into my brain. I give this a 9 out of 10 for this whole thing. That was, that's more of like a 3 out of 10. 4 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Give it an 8 out of 10. Give that like a 4. Give this one like a... I'll give it a 5. It's scary, but not like the craziest. It looks like they're biting us, but it's not actually doing anything, like we're invisible, so I'm gonna give it like 2 out of 10. Solid 7 out of 10. Kind of amusing, I guess. Maybe like 4 out of 10. I think the way it keeps popping in and out, that's scary. I give it an 8.5. It's annoying shrieking clown. I'm gonna give it like a 5 out of 10. That wasn't scary at all. 2 out of 10. Okay. I love his. That's funny. Helpy is funny. He's funny, but he's not scary. It's just weird, okay? 5 out of 10. What is this? Is this a meme game? We got the meme sound effect. I'm gonna give it a 7 because it's just like it comes out of nowhere. Like, you're not expecting it that. So, 7 out of 10. Yeah, 7 out of 10. That's a little bit creepy. Five coins. What on earth was that? Five coins. Um, this is cringy. In turn, makes it a little bit scary. 9 out of 10. Like, if that's what's on your screen and your parents walk in, like, what on earth are you watching? That's pretty weird. 9 out of 10. Five coins. Um, just like shrieking at the top of her lungs like a Karen. I give this a 7 out of 10. I give that a 1. I hate Bonnie. Please deposit. I give, it, I give it a seven just he's not that scary but i give him a seven because he's standing there and all of a sudden he appears like he's jump scaring you that that can get you off guard that's like a three it's just not that scary okay music man's pretty creepy i give this a six cannot take him seriously one out of ten not that scary one out of ten yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't with these ones. Just one out of ten. <laughs> the way his eyes are literally jiggling around and he's just waving around, like, he looks like he's just pie or something. I don't know what's going on with him. It's like he's trying to make us laugh, but then we die. Then he kills us. It's, but it feels like he's trying to make us laugh. I'm gonna give this negative one out of ten because it's actually funny. It's not even scary at all. Yeah, he looks like he's dancing. Two out of ten, not scary at all. Um, five out of ten. Okay, just the fact that the mouth is chattering so much, 7 out of 10. Yeah, peanut head will never be scary. 1 out of 10. Okay, that was kind of creepy. It's just such a big mix of things here, so 8 out of 10. This is not scary. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, there we go. That is... That's a 1 out of 10. But it would be scary if that actually happened to me, if I got jump scared by that. I just, it doesn't seem that scary to me in-game. Okay, the way his eyes are just kind of like staring into space, that does make it creepier. I give it a 7 out of 10. Plus try. Uh, 3 out of 10. That was the least of the scary Golden Freddy jump scares. Usually his are very weird and like demonic slightly. This one, he just stands up and starts freaking out on you. I'll give it 6 out of 10. All right, FNAF help wanted, let's go. I'm, I'm gonna rate, I'm gonna rate all of them because this is all the same VR game. Oh no, is, do they really have all? They have all of them in here? I didn't know there's that many characters in help wanted. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna rate them all collectively and I'm actually gonna put every jump scare in Help Wanted at 10 out of 10. And this is the reason why is just because knowing that you're in VR, like you could look super goofy on screen, but the moment you're in that VR headset, there's no escape. Like you're just stuck in there and the lights are off. Like that's terrifying. Get jump scared in VR. I don't care how goofy it is on the outside. And I don't want the video to be too long. So that's why we're skipping that section. FNAF AR, I'm gonna skip too because it's not really like a main game, but let's move on to FNAF Security Breach. This is the one. I will rate all of these seriously. Let's get right into it.
People hated on Security Breach for some reason. I liked it. It had, it had some issues. <laughs> Okay, I remember getting jump scared by Glamrock Chica so many times, so I'm just kind of used to it. She doesn't really do anything, she just kind of appears in your face. I'll give it like a 3 out of 10. Okay, that's scarier. That's scarier. 6 out of 10. Ooh, 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 ooh. Never mind. That last one there, let me see that one more time. Okay, here's the one I'm talking about. That, that's a 10 for me. That's a 10. That's terrifying. The head moves around. You can see the endoskeleton. Okay, I really don't like how he keeps chomping. It's like he's biting thin air because there's no blood on him. I'm fine. I'm, I'm gonna say like 2 out of 10. It's goofy. Yeah, that's, that also is a 2 out of 10, but let's see the truly destroyed version of Monty. Okay, that's scarier. It feels like kind of claustrophobic, that one. I give that one an, an 8.5 out of 10. Not that one. This one right here. This is 8.5 out of 10. Okay, Rox Roxy. Yeah, that's. it looks very cringy. It looks like she's lip-syncing a TikTok as she kills you. Like, la 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 la. I don't, have, I don't have a TikTok in mind, but you know, it just doesn't work for me. I give it a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10 for this dude. Now that one, that one gets a 10 for me. You can literally see like the drills in her eyes. This one right here, look at this. This is some, this is good stuff. I love this jump scare. She like just boosts forward, grabs you. You can see her eyes like screwed out. And that sound that she's making, wow. 10 out of 10 for me. Um, it's not that scary, and it's just because I'm so used to, to Glamrock Freddy being our friend, so I'm just- I don't see him as a threat anymore. One out of ten. That's scarier. That's scarier, even if it looks like Crazy Frog. It's still- I, I give that one an eight out of ten. Hello, dude, you it, This one was always creepy, but it was never like- I was never gonna be screaming from this. Never in my life. And you're sure afraid? Are we having a slumber party? Where are all your friends? Yeah, so see that first one where he grabs you one out of ten not scary, but this is now this is moon's jump scare It's kind of creepy how he's like what's he gonna do with those hands But he does it for so long that it's kind of not scary anymore Imagine if he did that and then grabbed you he literally like feels like five seconds go by of him doing that I know it's not but look Like let me give it a 6.5 out of 10 for moon <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit scary the first time Vanessa jump scared me because I didn't expect it, but there's nothing scary about her. I'm gonna give it a, give it a one out of ten. One out of ten. <laughs> this is the Vanny jump scare. That's scarier. I give that one a seven. These happen so often that there's literally no way you can be scared of these anymore. One out of ten. You get jump scared by these like 20 times uh, in the game, maybe like 50 times. Hi, please take this map. Okay, okay, normally I wouldn't be scared of that, but that just scared frick out of me as I was watching that because I did not expect that high. Here's a map. Like, I give that one a 10, but it has certain circumstances for, to get that rating. Please take this map. That was weird. Okay, the head fell off. That was creepy, but it wasn't like terrifying. Give it a six. That one's pretty scary. I give that one like a um, 6 out of 10. That one's scarier because it's just so weird looking. 8 out of 10. Ooh, that one gets a 10 for me because it's like, it's not just one of them. There's like multiple. The idea of possibly like fighting them and winning and getting away doesn't even cross your mind because you know the whole pack is going to mess you up. They're going to eat you for dinner. Um, kind of creepy. 6.5 out of 10. Nah, the fact that he's like doing his symbols. I know it's supposed to show like that's what he does, but it's cringe. He wants to like flex that he plays the symbols on us before he kills us. Two out of ten. Okay, okay, okay. Music man gets, I want to say 11. I'm going to give, I'm, put, I'm breaking the rules again. I'm putting him in the 11 out of 10 category because that bass drop when he jump scares you. Okay, first of all, he's huge and it's dark everywhere, but there's like this crazy bass drop that happens. That just brings it to another level. Okay, here it is. Watch guys. This is an 11 out of 10. This is crazy. That's terrifying. 11 out of 10 easily. Okay, this, this is weird as hell, but it's not like the scariest, craziest one. I'm gonna give it a nine. 
I don't know what that was. This is a zero out of ten. What? Are, what is this from? I don't know what this. But that's an eleven out of ten as well. That was not expected. Okay, unreleased jump scares. I don't think there's any point in rating those. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, this video is made by Dark Taurus. And those are my ratings for how scary every jump scare from the main FNAF games is, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me or if you think I rated some of them bad, what you would rate them and what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. As always, my name is Envy Perry, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, that's what I am.